Hi, and welcome to RTP Business Live. Our guest today is Brad Leinart. He is the founder and director of marketing and operations for Entredot. Uh, I've got a few questions for him. First, welcome to our show, Brad. Thank you. Great. Um, there are a lot of individuals that offer business coaching or counseling. What makes Entredot unique in its approach? Uh, I'd like to think it's the way we build the relationship with our client. We call our clients associates, and our contractual agreement with them is a six-month agreement, <clears throat> which involves one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, about an hour a week for that six-month period. So we're building a partnership and a relationship that is uh, formal for six months, but carries on really as long as they need our help thereafter. So it's not counseling and it's not workshops. It's a one-on-one -on -one uh, mentoring process. It's got pretty good continuity and consistency to it. That's a true commitment on your part to, to provide all that support. Um, there are a lot of business organizations uh, sponsored by Small Business Associate Administration, I'm sorry, um, that offer their services for free. Uh, do you get resistance when uh, you're actually charging, charging a small fee for the service? We do charge $300 a month for a six-month contract, so a total of $1,800. People who are serious about starting a business uh, know that that's not very much money and it can be easily wasted if you make mistakes. Um, and if you are sort of committed to being in a business, you know that having some skin in the game is also important. But we are an acquired taste. We do charge uh, small business administration, the community colleges uh, are giving you something that you might think is free. The taxpayers are actually paying for it, of course. But we fund ourselves, we pay our own bills, so we have to charge something to cover our expenses. And uh, we find that uh, about one out of five people we talk to get it and see the value of the one-on-one -on -one mentoring and the consistency of our program. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Well, let's do, dive into that a little bit more. Can you expand on your products and services? Yeah, we have uh, built up a repertoire. We've been in business five years, so this is the first year of our second five-year plan. And we started out with a program called Six Steps to Success, which goes from ideation to conceptualization to creation to preparation to launch and to commercialization. There's 10 modules in each of those six steps, so it's a very intense uh, process that you go through that takes you all the way from ideation and commercialization. If you're starting a business or if you've been in business for two or three years and you want to jump into the middle of it and kind of redesign, reboot your business, so we do that just as well. So. Our bread and butter process has been six steps to success, and that's what the one-on-one -on -one mentor helps you work your way through over a six-month period. More recently, we found that between step three and step four in our process, there's kind of a black hole. That's where people need some money. It may not be a lot of money, but it may be five to $100,000 if you're prototyping, developing a piece of software, whatever it might be that you're going to take to the marketplace. And so. It's hard for some people starting a business to find that money. So we sure. have we begun to concentrate more on trying to solve that problem. And so we developed another series that we started in September of last year called Conquering Money. And we do Conquering Money workshops. <clears throat> and uh, those are all about preparing your story, telling your story, getting in front of the sources of capital or debt, and actually locking those uh, sources of financing in place. So we have... Six Steps to Success, we have Conquering Money, and we have our mentoring program, which is based on the mentor pool that we've developed that has about 200 triangle mentors in it. Excellent, excellent. Uh, do you have any particular market areas of focus? Well, we moved out to the RTP in, in January of this year, wanting to have kind of a more central location. We're in the new building out there. It's actually an old IBM building, but it's called the Frontier. It's been renamed the Frontier. It's just on the north side of 54 between Davis Drive and T.W. Alexander, and it's going to be a collaboration building. It's really a co-working space on the first floor hmm. and small businesses on the third floor in kind of a membership model. So we're very excited about that location, but part of being uh, in the first year of our second five-year plan, finding a new location, which we're really happy about, was to also put some emphasis on a couple of uh, channels to market. And mm -hmm. those two that we picked are women and veterans. And so we have initiatives and channel partners that we're working with to help women start businesses and to help veterans start businesses. And our goal for 2015 is to help a hundred of each start a new business or build capacity in an existing business 
or to possibly buy into a franchise. Those so two great areas. women and veterans are Excellent. the focus right now. Well, um, that's kind of where you're going. Let's talk a little bit about where you've been. Uh, how many companies have gone through your programs in these five years? And uh, what is the success rate? We actually started with the Six Steps to Success program about three years ago <clears throat> when we were operating the Cary Innovation Center. And uh, in total, since we have been doing that, which began February 2012, we've had about 200 companies go through our programs. Now, that's not counting the ones who have decided not to go through the program or have dropped out of the program for some particular reason, maybe to continue their day job, or maybe they decided they just didn't have the time and passion to start their own company. But of the 200 that have gone through our programs, I count virtually all of them as being successful in meeting their objectives, and some have exceeded their objectives by some order of magnitude. The uh, 200 companies that have gone through the programs in the last three years have created about 500 new jobs. That's wonderful. That's, a, that's a, something the area should uh, take great pride in. If I were to ask you one of, ask one of your graduates what they thought of Entredot, uh, what would they say? Well, we talk in kind of technical terms, talk about process, but uh, some of my alumni speak in a much uh, simpler fashion about what we've helped them with which I think kind of brings us back to earth. And one of them recently, who's an author, I asked her what she thought about our program. And she said she didn't get it when she looked at the website. But after being in our program and going through our mentoring relationship, what she got out of it was we helped her fill in the holes. We answered questions that she had that she didn't have the answers to. We introduced her to people that she didn't know uh, were out there that have been very critical in helping her build her team and we helped her find the money to finance her business. Others will tell you more simply that we've just helped them focus, that we've helped them clarify their, their thinking about the various objectives that they had in their brain about their business and focus on one clear objective that they can actually go to market with and be successful with. And I guess the third area where we get pretty good credit would be marketing and sales. So we think if you don't have a good, strong marketing and sales uh, program, you're not going to be successful. That's usually the reason most people get kicked off a shark tank. <laughs> and uh, we work really hard with the latest technology to show people how to build a strong marketing and sales program and to actually show them how to go get the order from the customer. Right. I think that's a great point because even in my own industry, um, many years ago, there was the fight between beta Max and VHS, and uh, one was the better technology and one was the better marketing, and uh, VHS with the better marketing uh, uh, mm -hmm. scored the day back then. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a good point to, to keep in mind that, that you may have a great idea, but you've got to find those people who agree with you and want to use your product or service. Right. Um, well, let's uh, change gears a little bit. What's one new thing you're starting in the next 12 months? Looking forward now. Well, we've gotten pretty good traction in the market. We have good brand recognition around Entredot. We've got a good track record with the 200 companies that we've helped go through our program. So uh, we started out, you know, wanting to be sure we were relevant. There are a lot of business coaches. There are a lot of organizations that can help you. As we said earlier, a lot of them offer their services for free, or at least it appears that way. Uh, so we wanted to be relevant in what we do, and we think we've reached that point. Now we'd like to scale ourselves, what we do beyond the triangle, to at least the, the Carolinas and possibly across the United States. So what we're beginning to do, and we've got some experts working on both the Six Steps to Success program and Conquering Money, there are about 90 modules in those two programs. We're going to put those on a web-based format so we can actually uh, rent those out to people that would be interested in a particular module anywhere in the world Mm -hmm. on a module by module basis. They can take the pieces that they like, that they think they need, and get that help for some nominal fee. Maybe it's three ninety nine for a rental period of 72 hours. And right. if they like what they see, they can, they can rent more modules. If they want to get back into the full program and be mentored one-on-one, -on -one, they can come back to us and engage in that way. But we're going to take ourselves uh, a notch further forward into distant learning and get ourselves on a web-based format so we can actually scale and cover a larger geographic marketplace. And that's going to happen in the next 12 months. So 
So the entrepreneurial training company becomes very entrepreneurial. We followed our own process <laughs> and we're kind of at step five and a half right now. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> um, well, Brad, we've covered a lot of ground today, uh, but I want to circle back and ask if there's anything we haven't talked about that you'd like folks to know about EntreDot. I think uh, we need to give kudos to our mentors. Uh, they provide their services as volunteers. We're a 501c3, so we don't have a lot of extra cash floating around. We run off of the fees that we collect from our associates. And our mentor pool is very robust. It's made up of diversified men and women who are actively running their own businesses. They're sometimes serial entrepreneurs. They're very tech savvy. And they're offering a, an hour a week, an hour a week for a six month period to uh, volunteer their time to help one of our associates on a one-on-one -on -one mentoring relationship. And that's really a big differentiation point for us. And uh, we have an unlimited number of mentors, probably 200 in our pool in the Triangle alone. That's wonderful. And we found when we go to other markets like Wilmington, where we're looking to set up an office, uh, we equally have mentors who are coming forward to volunteer their time. There are just a lot of really great people out there who are successful in business, who are willing to give back. and. We couldn't do what we do without our mentors. That's wonderful. Pay it forward concept. It's very much so. Wonderful. Well, we've been very pleased to have Brad Leinert today with EntreDot. Uh, to find out more about EntreDot, you can uh, check out the information at the end of this video. We'll also have a web page set up so that you can find out more and learn about EntreDot services. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Bob Collier with RTP Business Live. See you again real soon.